created this sequence to show you how to fire up and strengthen your arms to build a stable base so you'll be free to expand ecstatically into Wild Thing. Start in a comfortable cross-legged position, listening to your breath. Connect to the highest purpose in your practice, recognizing your potential for both stability and innate freedom. Come to all fours for cat-cow pose. Place your hands beneath your shoulders and your knees hip-width apart. Lightly claw your finger pads against the floor to begin to engage your arms. As you exhale, lift your navel to your spine as you curl open your back body. Inhale and melt your heart toward the floor as you reverse the curve in your spine. Exhale and round your spine and let the breath move smoothly. Inhale, extend your heart forward, finding fullness in your breath. Continue to enjoy the rhythm of this movement as you tune into your breath. Slowly move into a neutral spine, then roll your toes under and press your thighs back for downward facing dog. Step your feet forward to your hands, bring your hands to your hips and lift up to stand in Tadasana, mountain pose. Fold your hands in front of your heart. Take a moment and listen to your breath. Exhale, release your hands by your side. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, fold forward into Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Inhale, extend your heart forward. Place your hands on the floor and exhale, step back to plank. Feel the strength of your arms. Bring your knees to the floor and bend your elbows to release your whole torso down to your mat. Inhale, curl open into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Keep your elbows bent and melt your heart. Exhale, lift back to Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog Pose. Adjust your feet far enough away from your hands to open your chest and hamstrings. Shift your weight into your hands, lift your armpits and lengthen your side body. Claw the floor with your finger pads to feel tone in your arms, which will support your heart in opening more freely. From your heart, stretch down to your hands and fully up through your spine and down your legs into the feet. Then walk your feet toward your hands for standing forward bend. Keep your feet sitting bone distance apart, interlace your fingers behind your back, and bend your elbows shoulder width apart. Keep your elbows bent as you use gravity to lengthen your armpits toward the floor. Move the head of your arm bones and your throat toward the back plane of your body and reach your arms overhead. Release your hands, place them on the floor, and step back to down dog. Claw the floor with your finger pads to fire up the strength in your arms. The strength and stability in your hands, wrists, and arms will serve as your main support in Wild Thing. Step your right foot forward and turn your left heel down to the floor for Utita Parshva Konasana, extended side angle pose. Align your right heel with the center of your left arch. Keep your right knee above your ankle and hug your legs in toward your midline. Extend your left arm in front of you, lengthen your side body, and pull your left upper arm bone into your shoulder socket. Externally rotate your upper arm and reach it alongside your head. 
root down through your legs from your pelvis. Then lift your right forearm to your right thigh and from your core extend even brighter through your torso and arms as you turn your belly and chest up to the sky, feeling the lightness and freedom in your upper body. Release both hands to the floor and step back to down dog. Step your left foot forward for side angle pose on the left. Spin your right heel to the floor, left heel aligned with the center of your right arch. Draw your thighs in toward your midline and extend your right arm forward. Lengthen through your side ribs and waist and root your right upper arm bone into your shoulder socket. Reach down through your legs as you lift your left forearm to your thigh and rotate your belly and chest open. Feel the strong, steady base of your legs and pelvis as you energize and lift through your spine. Bring both hands to the floor and step back to down dog. Feel your upper arm bones moving into your shoulders, creating that stable base that is key to opening deeply in your heart. Come forward to plank and lower down onto your stomach for cobra pose. Place your hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers, and energetically drag your hands back toward your torso as you lift your armpits. Pull the head of your arm bones up and back and start to lift your head and chest. Move your shoulder blades down and in toward your heart. Root your pelvis back through your legs Curl up through your spine and take your head back freely. Feel the movement of your breath as you melt your heart open. Release, unwind your spine toward the floor and push back to down dog. Come forward to plank and then back to your stomach for Ardha Bakasana, half frog pose. Prop yourself up on your forearms with your elbows beneath your shoulders. Bend your right knee and reach back with your right hand to hold the inside edge of your foot. If possible, pivot your right hand so your fingers face the direction of your toes. Use your hand to press your right foot down toward your outer right hip. Scoop your tailbone down, and if you still feel open in your lower back, lift off your left forearm and onto your left hand to stretch even deeper. Release your right leg back to the floor, and then release your torso. Cross your forearms and rest your forehead for a moment, still feeling the rhythm of your breath. Lift back up onto your forearms for the second side. Bend your left knee and take hold of the inner edge of your left foot. Feel free to turn your hand so that your fingers face forward as you press your left foot down toward your outer left hip. To deepen the opening in your chest, press firmly through your right hand and lift your right forearm off the floor. Lower your forearm and release your foot and torso. Place both hands beneath your shoulders and press back to down dog. This next pose, a variation of Anjaneyasana, low lunge, will help you find the rapturous opening of your chest in Wild Thing. Step your right foot forward into a low lunge and lower your left knee to the floor. Twist to the right, bend your left knee, and take hold of the outside of your left foot with your right hand. You can balance your weight by resting your left hand on the floor, or to go deeper, take your left foot in toward your outer left hip, place your left forearm on the floor. 
lean back and curl your shoulder blades in toward your heart. Root down through your legs and open up through your whole torso, feeling the freedom and openness in your heart. Release your left foot, place both hands on the floor, and step back to down dog. Step your left foot forward and lower your right knee to the floor for low lunge. Turn your torso to the left and bend your right knee, taking hold of the outside of your foot with your left hand. Use your right hand on the floor for balance, or to deepen in the pose, bend your right knee further, drawing your foot toward your outer right hip, and lower your right forearm to the floor. Draw your shoulder blades in toward your heart as you open your chest and feel the expansion from the base of support. Release your right foot and lower both hands to the floor. Step back to down dog, feeling alive in your arms, legs, and spine. Lower to your stomach for Dhanurasana, bow pose. Rest your forehead on your forearms and enjoy your breath for a few moments. Allow the muscles on either side of your spine to settle and expand laterally. Keep that softness, bend both knees and reach back to take hold of the tops of your feet. Root your tailbone toward the floor, keep your thighs parallel and press your feet back into your hands. On an inhalation, lift your head, torso and legs up into bow pose. Keep a steady pressure through your feet into your hands and continue to move your tailbone down as you expand your breath into your chest and ribs. Release your feet and lower your torso to the floor. Cross your forearms and rest your head, letting your whole body release. Take your hands beneath your shoulders and press back to down dog. From here, you'll take Vashistasana, side plank pose. Come forward into plank with your shoulders stacked above your wrists. Take your right hand slightly forward of your shoulder and shift your weight onto your right hand as you turn onto the outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left foot on your right. Secure both shoulder blades onto your back. Open your torso to the left and lift your left arm up. Energize your standing arm as you open to the freedom in your chest. Release your left hand to the floor and step back to down dog. Take a moment to breathe and come back to center. Then come back to plank for Vashistasana on the second side. Place your left hand slightly forward, shift your weight onto your left hand and roll onto the outer edge of your left foot with your right foot on top. Press both shoulder blades firmly into your back, turn your torso to the right, and extend up through your right arm. Feel the strength and stability in your left arm free you into opening to the spaciousness in your chest. Release your right hand to the floor and press back to down dog. Lower your knees to the floor and rest for a moment in child's pose. Slow your breath and feel the movement of its rhythm throughout your body. Then curl your toes under and press back to down dog. Now you're ready and warm for wild thing. From down dog, stack your shoulders above your wrists in plank. Place your right hand slightly forward of your shoulder and turn onto your right side. Step your left foot behind you, 
Keep your right leg straight and push your hips up and away from the floor. Scoop your tailbone and use your legs to keep lifting your hips. Curl your head back, lift your left side body and extend your left arm over your head to curve into a rapturous backbend. Have fun in this pose. Be wild and taste your freedom. To come out, lift your left arm up, pivot on your right foot and return your hand to the floor. Step back to down dog and lower your shins to the floor in child's pose. Allow your body to soften and release deeply. Lengthen your arms forward and lift up and back to down dog. Come back to plank. Take your left hand just forward of your shoulder, roll onto the outer edge of your left foot and stack your legs in side plank. Step your right foot back behind you. Keep your left leg strong and steady as you push your hips up away from the floor. Scoop your tailbone and press firmly through both feet and legs to lift your hips. Take your head back and extend your right side body, lifting your right arm over your head into a back bend. As you ground through the stability of your standing arm, soften your heart and open to your inherent wild freedom. Start your transition to down dog. Reach up through your right arm, pivot on your left foot, and with both hands on the floor, press your thighs up and back. Lower your knees to the floor and rest in child's pose to ground down after your adventure. Bathe in the warmth of your movement and offer a blessing to the earth. Lift your torso off your thighs to move into Shavasana, corpse pose. Extend your legs in front of you and lie down on your back. Release your entire body to restore yourself after this energizing practice, savoring the taste of freedom. <laughs> 